Hi, Leo. Do you know any places where sailors hang out around here? Sailors? Yeah, I see them at night. At night? They're really big bad dudes, you know. I think they drink a lot of booze at the bars or someplace. Bars? Yep. You can see them hanging around the motorcycle shop. Good point. Hi there. Hi, Leo. What are you doing? Nothing, really. Eddie. Huh? Do you know anywhere sailors might hang out? How would I know? What is with you asking me that? Uh, it's nothing. Hey. What? Go away. So why are you here talking to me? Go and talk to Nozomi. You're right. Nozomi. Ryo. You got a minute? Nozomi, do you know of any shops where sailors might go? Well, they sure don't come in here. I'd guess that they probably hang out in bars. Yeah, probably. Hey, sorry to bother you at work. It's no bother. But Ryo... Hmm? Don't do anything crazy. I won't. See ya. Excuse me? Yes? Is there any place around here where sailors might gather? Well, now... Oh, yes. Speaking of sailors, they always found me quite attractive. Years ago, of course. You don't say. Ono-san. Oh, it's you, Ryo. I heard you had a hard time. Yeah. Are you okay now? Yes. I feel a lot better now. Don't overdo it. Um... What is it, kid? I need to ask you something. Forget it! Um... Who the hell do you think you're talking to? You fighting with me? I've got a question for you. Who are you kidding? Kiss off, twit! Ain't got time for punk kids. Get out of here. Get out of my way. What? Go home! Oh, hey, you! Those guys sailors? Maybe. 
I'm looking for sailors who work with Chinese ships. What are you, some kind of TV detective or something? Back off. You little punk. You looking for some of this? You stupid! That's enough. You put on quite a show, boy. I'm looking for info about a Chinese cartel. I'll tell you. What? In return, you don't show your face here again. Okay. Look for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? He deals in smuggled goods. He's well known in the underworld. He should know about the Chinese cartel. Where is he? He loves his hog. Try asking at the motorcycle shop nearby. What's he look like? He always wears shades and a black leather jacket. And... He's got a tattoo on his arm. A tattoo on his arm? Enough talk! Now get out! Son. Hey, Ryo! Do you know a guy named Charlie? Charlie? You know him? He's such a poser. Thinks riding a hog makes him look cool, but it don't. He ain't a real biker. Do you know where he lives? No idea. He only stops by sometimes. Oh yeah, go to Tsuruoka's place. You mean Tsuruoka-san at the jacket shop? I heard Charlie goes there sometimes. Thank you. Excuse me. Have you decided on something? Do you know if a guy named Charlie comes here? He wears sunglasses and a leather jacket and... Sunglasses and a leather jacket? You know, I'm pretty sure I saw someone like that over at Kurita-san's place. The military surplus store? Yeah. Right. Kurita-san. Yo, how are ya? Do you know a man named Charlie? Huh? Charlie? Wears a black leather jacket, sunglasses, and has a tattoo on his arm. I see that guy out in front of the shop sometimes. Always ragging my merchandise, like he'd ever buy anything. <laughs> when does this Charlie come around? He usually heads over this way after hitting the jacket shop. You know, man, guys like that almost always look around without buying anything. I see. Excuse me? Hey! I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? What's he like? He always wears a black leather jacket and sunglasses. Has a tattoo on his arm. Ah, you know him? There's this guy who's always whining about our jackets. Like he knows what he's talking about. Always showing off his tattoo. I see. About that guy with the tattoo? Yeah, he came by four or five days ago. Ugly as the worst sin. Always showing off his tattoo. What a loser. Know where I can find him? Nah, I wouldn't know, and don't care. Sorry, I can't be of more help. I see. Tom. Hi, Dio. 
I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Do you know him? Charlie? He wears sunglasses, a black leather jacket, and has a tattoo on his arm. No, I don't know him, man. Really? going what's wrong I'm so thirsty I want to drink but I don't have any change I'll buy you one what do you want you're really nice thanks what kind of drink do you recommend hmm let's see Here. Thanks a lot. You've made my day. Is the restaurant busy? Ah, uh, a little. You should come by again. And try Taosan special. Yes. Please give my regards to Taosan. Sure thing. I'll say hi for you. Okay, I've got to go. Got things to do. Okay, see you. Thanks again. Excuse me. You are just a what you asking for it, jerk. Um, yeah, what a pansy ass geek. Just a what you want, twit. You asking for it, jerk. Um, what what a pansy ass geek. Just a what you want, twit. You asking for it, jerk. Um, yeah, what a pansy ass geek. Just a what you want, twit. Okay, bastard. Um, what want me to kick your ass? Just a what you want, twit. Okay, bastard. Um, what what a pansy ass geek. Just a what you want, twit. You asking for it. Jerk. Stop it! Who do you think you are? That's Nozomi's voice. Well, aren't we brave? You must not know who we are, eh? I don't care who you think you are. You can't threaten little kids. So you think you're pretty tough, eh? This little brat just hit my pal in the face with that toy! So we're going to teach him a lesson. Can't you just leave him alone? He's just a kid. Hey, you're kind of cute, babe. Wouldn't you like to party with us? Get away from Don't me. Don't fight it, babe. We'll be gentle. Don't you dare lay a finger on me. This will be fun. Nasomi. Ryo. What? Are you looking for a fight? Any time. Were you?
Both of you, stay away from her, understood? Yeah, okay. Thank you, Ryo. Thanks, Ryo. Nozomi, you've got to be more careful. They were going to hurt him. I know, but you can't reason with those guys. But... Okay. Yo, pal! What's up? Hey, I know you. Nah, let me apologize for before. What? You know, you're a good fighter. <laughs> I was impressed. So? I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. Charlie? <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of mine. Really? Yeah, you don't trust people, do ya? Come on. I'll take you to meet him. <laughs> we got ya! Come on, tough guy! Show us what you got! Charlie? I... I don't know any Charlie! Where'd you get the tattoo? Okinawa! I'm not lying, but there's a tattoo parlor in Yokosuka too! A friend told me about it! Where's the tattoo parlor? I don't know! Um, what you want? I'd like to ask you about your tattoo. You interested in tattoos? Yeah. This tattoo's our gang symbol. Where'd you get it? At the best tattoo artist around. Where's that tattoo parlor? By the look of those arms, you look like you can hold your own in a fight. I'll tell you what you want to know. If you'll join our gang. All right. If you mean it, go get the tattoo. The shop's in Okayama Heights. I trust you can find it yourself.
Perhaps they're out? Sorry, man. We're closed. A guy named Charlie gets his tattoos here, right? Never heard of him. That's funny. He's been bragging about your work. I want to ask him something in person. That's so. Hey, man. Why don't you lose the jacket? What? Easy, man. I just figured you've got perfect skin for my work. Nice color. No sag. I would love to get the chance to work on someone fresh for a change. I'm sick and tired of those cheap, greasy punks. No, I'm not into tattoos. I want to know about Charlie. Hey, let me work on you, man. I won't charge you nothing. Come on. I said no. Oh, man. Too bad. You know Charlie, don't you? Come on back tomorrow. Is he coming in tomorrow? He might come. Look, I'm close. Get out! Hi, Megumi. Hi, Adyo! Yo, I named the kitty. Her name is Chibi. It's cute, isn't it? Uh-huh. It's a real cute name. You've got yourself a good friend there. I see. I'm happy for you. Be real nice to her, all right? Uh-huh. I'm Chibi's mommy. I see. I'm happy for you. There, there. Good kitty. Chibi, you look well. <laughs> You're so cute. something tough so no one will mess with me yeah <laughs> like that schoolboy shut up he kicked your butt too that schoolboy huh <laughs> it's him uh, uh, oh, I'm no. out of here have you come for a tattoo I'm looking for a guy named Charlie. He's over there. He's sleeping. Wouldn't wake him, unless you want to get hurt. know about the cartel. I don't know! Why do you want to know? That's none of your business. Just tell me! Hey, let me go! I'll tell you! Okay? You didn't need to rip my arm off. Okay, so when? Tomorrow at 3. Wait at the arcade. Word? Yeah. You know what I'll do if you don't sh Nozomi, what are you doing here? 
class just got out. You shouldn't be around here. But I was looking for you. Oh? My friend said she saw you down here. But why? Today we had our college orientation, but you weren't there. Yeah. Have you decided where to go? Not yet, but if I go, it'll have karate. It's about time you started studying for the entrance exams. Yeah, I know. I'm worried about you. And with exams... I'll be fine. Ryo, I understand what you're going through with your father and all, but... We can talk about it later. Promise? Yeah, it's dangerous here. You should go home. See you later. Father, I promise to avenge you. Your old son. Let's spar for a bit, huh? It's been a while. All right. No holding back, okay? That's the Fuku-san I know. How's that? That was a good one. Whoa, whoa! Oh! It's been a while since we practiced together. I feel much better now. Have you found something? I've got a lead on the Chinese cartel. Are they the same ones who killed Hazuki-sensei? I don't know yet. You're not thinking of going after them alone, are you? You go up against those killers? It's my only option. I know how you feel, but it's too dangerous. Even Sensei couldn't. I've made up my mind. But what if something happens to you? I feel responsible. Don't worry about me. No. Ryo-san, is that why you started training? <sighs> oh, please. I'm begging you. Please think it over. My mind is made up. I must go. Ryo-san! <laughs> Ine-san, you overheard? Please don't pursue this, Ryo-san. I have to. Please step aside. I'm begging you. Respect Hazuki-sensei's will and look after the dojo. I can't believe my father killed someone. Dosan, please wait. There's something I must give to you. A letter? To my father? This came right after Hazuki Sensei passed away. I had a bad feeling about it, so I felt I should keep it hidden until today. This letter's in Chinese. 
But why? Because I didn't want you to do anything foolish and risk your life. And because I don't want you to upset the spirit of your father. Please make a promise to me. Inesa. Please, I need you to promise me. Yes, I promise. Thank you, dear son. Son, what were you talking about with Ine-san? Well... Is that a letter? In Chinese? Is it from the man who murdered Sensei? I don't know. Damn it! If only we knew someone who reads Chinese!